post-World War II America saw many trends sweep the nation, and one of them was Teen Town. It's a concept long forgotten, but still remembered by those who were there. The towns, social clubs that generally allowed well-behaved teenagers a place to dance or meet, were popular in the 1950s and 1960s. They offered a safe place for teens to dance to top 40 music, sip soft drinks, play ping pong, or just spend time with each other. According to the archives of the Augusta Chronicle, there were three teen towns in Augusta, one on the south side, one in West Augusta, and one on Central Avenue. There was even one at Fort Gordon and one in Aiken. And the people who were there still remember them. John Laird Sr., now of Sugarland, Texas, but then of Augusta, Georgia, said the teen town at the Waterworks was a place for Augusta and surrounding area teens to go to meet and dance Friday and Saturday nights. He should know. He was the teen town mayor. As mayor of teen town, he recalled, I helped negotiate and schedule James Brown and his band to play teen town some Friday or Saturday nights, and sometimes both nights. This was before he became very famous, and the price for a night of great music was very cheap. He packed the house each time he played. That waterworks teen town must have been something. Martha Stelling Hawkins remembers it well. She wrote me about it and said, my mother, Marguerite Stelling, the president of the Junior Women's Club and society editor of the Augusta Chronicle in the 1950s and 60s, started the teen town on Central Avenue in an old waterworks building. I was too young to go, but my brother, Max Stelling, and his friends were always there, playing ping pong, pool, board games, dancing, and socializing. There was one on the south side, too. Joe Cawley remembers the Fleming teen town near the library on Lumpkin Road. They had disc jockeys and live bands performing, Joe remembered. Among them, Maurice Williams and the Zodiacs from Columbia, who made a popular song, Stay, if he recalls correctly. Also, Leroy Lloyd and the Dukes, little Mickey Murray, either had a band or was in one. These were black bands performing for white teenagers before the days of integration, but they had white bands too. Johnny Hensley and the Red Hots, the Celestials, the Paul Bears, Ben Bernard and the Blue Notes, we had a lot of fun in those days, Joe recalled. I never remember seeing a policeman at any of the teen towns. But like all good things, the teen towns came to an end, gradually dying out by the 1970s. There was no feeder system, then County Recreation Director Tommy Boyles told the Chronicle in 1984. Boyles, himself a Fleming teen town alumnus, said people grew up and dropped out and there was nobody to replace them. In the 1980s, there was a move to bring them back, but it didn't work. Who's to say why? MTV, music videos, or the fact that all the teens now had cars. But the old teen towners don't forget their youth. I am thankful to have been a teenager in the 1950s, 60s era, Joe Cawley remembered it. We had so much fun and so many places to go for fun and entertainment. Shannon Bryant Hoover put it this way, it took many years to realize how blessed we were to have such a safe and happy place to spend our weekends. I only wish life was that simple for young people today. Thank you.